Hey everybody, Murphy Daly here with a moment of wonder. Guys, whew, you're catching me in the car because I got a moment here and I'm taking it with you. I wanted to, oh right, okay, so I'm Murphy Daly and hear it written by Murphy and I wanted to talk to you today. I'd love to have a conversation about thoughts and um, if you are watching, give me a one. And if you're watching later, let me know. Type replay. Because I want to have this conversation. Alright, so... I talk a lot. One of the reasons I started my Moments of Wonder is because I wanted to talk about all the great books I'm reading. All the books I'm enjoying. I say great, but some of them might be not so great. I mean, they're a book, and I'm interested in talking about what I'm thinking about and what I'm learning about. And, um... I haven't read it lately, but there was some amazing books by Brene Brown where she talks about being a shame researcher. And that shame is something that is universal, a universal human feeling. And all of us have some kind of shame and it's a killer. It just makes, it's a killer. Well, it probably is a killer, but it, it makes us just shut down. And this brings up, when I talk to people about what I'm reading, oh, I'm reading this, I'm reading this, and I talk about it because I want to be excited. Yeah, I'm kind of proud of it too because it feels like an accomplishment every time I read something. Some people who like TV may feel like a sense of accomplishment after they finish watching, binge watching a whole show. They're like, oh, I finished Mad Men or I don't know what else, like, I don't know, I finished all of um, Queen Victoria. These are some ones that I like. Uh, other ones other people may like, I don't know, Breaking Bad or something. You binge watch the whole show and you feel like, wow, I kind of have a sense of accomplishment. A similar sense of accomplishment is when I finish a book. I'm like, hey, I finished this book and that feels good. And I'd like to talk to somebody else about the ideas in that book. One of the things that happens though is this, I get this thing that people are triggered to feel ashamed when I try to talk to them about books I've read, I just get this so often. Oh, I should read more. Like, I don't want that to be the case. I would like to not trigger shame when I'm coming to people and talking about something I'm excited about, something that's going on in my life. But there it is. This shame pops up like, oh, I should have read that. I'm not trying to should you. I'm not trying to shoot on you. You're shooting on yourself if you uh, are coming up with this as a reason to feel ashamed. Absolutely, don't read anything that's not in your in your joy bucket. I'm telling you about what's in mine, and it comes up if if I were to tell somebody, hey, I I um, ran a marathon. Other people might go, oh my god, I need to exercise more. Or I could say, hey, I lost. 20 pounds and they go oh I should do that what's up with that guys what's up with that I, I would like to find a way to dispense of shame like these are accomplishments we can have for each other oh actually speaking of weight loss last September I actually decided to join Weight Watchers and I lost 35 pounds and it's really exciting like hey look at this this is great what's interesting is almost no one has said anything to me about it like they're afraid it's this weird polite thing where some of them are afraid that if they mention that I've lost weight I will flip it and be like yeah well they noticed that I needed to lose weight I'm like like they're it's a very weird twisted thing living with shame and we all live with it I would like to live in a world where more self-love and self-acceptance and being comfortable with what you love to do is the norm. Wouldn't that be great? I don't think it'll come to us easily because like our friend, the shame researcher, Brene Brown says, everybody's got it. So we've all got these points of shame, but I hope to create connections with people and be able to celebrate with other people even if I feel like it's a weakness of mine that they're celebrating. It's like, hey, I'm proud of you for what you did. Good for you. That was an accomplishment. 
even though maybe I wish I could accomplish it too. And I probably feel like there's something wrong with me because I haven't maybe, but I thought I'd bring it up like, Hey, let's celebrate one another. Let's know. Hmm. I want to celebrate each of you and I want to know that shame is here and know that it's something we're all fighting as well as celebrating each other for their accomplishments, whatever they be. Even if it's finishing watching Breaking Bad, which I haven't started yet, but I hear it's good. Maybe I should. All the accomplishments that we do and um, leave the shame behind. Let's celebrate each other's joys and delights. So that's my thought today. I'd love to hear what you think. I'd love to hear if you've had um, something that has been a point of shame for you that you're willing to talk about or something you notice that other people can't celebrate with you because they're ashamed. It'd be cool to, to kind of acknowledge that and have it come out. Okay, that's what I got today, guys. Continue the conversation. Put something in the comments. I'd like to know. Bye.